inches uh, to a team that has been fairly successful uh, this season. Nicholas Clark, of course, the captain. And uh, he's, of course, between the sticks. Barrington Price, Odin Pennycook, Pennycook, and Richard Brown, the back three in the middle of the back. Alton Lewis, uh, Kevin Garnett, Howard Morris, and Keno Simpson. And up top, uh, we see Nikita Fuller. Justin Dunn, of course, was uh, four goals to his name so far this season. And their number 11, Anthony Nelson, looking to be a part of the scorecard. Yeah, a lot of firepower up front for Tivoli Gardens. A lot of youth, full exuberance also. Humble Iron hoping to roar uh, this evening. Prince Daniel Smith himself, a roar, is between the sticks. They have a back four of Fabian Pascoe, uh, Ricardo Campbell, Tamar Colesbrin, and uh, the veteran Xavier Virgo in the middle of the park of Eva Chambers. Andrew Vance, who has a couple goals to his name so far this season, and of course the aforementioned Jardel Williams. Up top, they are looking to be on the score sheet, not quite yet. Uh, as Sharp, including their number seven, Roshane Sharp, Andre Clennon, and Jermaine Christian. Yeah, a lot of strength for Humble Line in their midfield. You mentioned their captain, Andrew Vanzi. He's probably the most dangerous player from set pieces in this league. But also look out for Jardel Williams, a young player in attack. As we take a look at the full time highlights here, this game was going at a mile a minute. And Tiffany Gardens got the goal early. Just it done. Pretty much picking off. Picking up from where he left off in that match against Nani Gardens where he scored a hat-trick and scored one. Pretty early against Humble Lion here. Good give and go with Morris. And done with the finish. And again, some good work to be had here. And done with the effort that was just wide of the mark. Smith was sprinting across trying to get there they had opportunities done again orchestrating this one swept that ball inside to Morris and Morris knew he should have done better there that was a big chance Morris was robbed of the ball and it went the other way and they were back in the contest it's a free goal here Barrington Price thinking that his keeper was on the goal line wasn't the most convincing header anyway yeah it was dangerous regardless of whether he thought the keeper was back there dangerous play and you can see what he said there he, he's not speaking to me didn't know exactly where his keeper was on that occasion he was on the end of a Another good ball, couldn't find the target, and then done. Look at the work here. Then Lewis, and then on the platter for Morris. And Horrid Morris getting his goal there, the first of the night. Lewis serving it up easy for him, and they were ecstatic. And in the second half, opportunity that was brilliantly taken Justin Dunn what a finish that was yep and he was overcome with emotion Virgo's ball inside was looking for Andre Clennon and how did he miss that one that should have been a target he knows it and they had opportunities here and uh, took forever to make his mind up when he actually did shot was off target javon smith knew he should have done better there but this game had a whole lot of chances and uh, dunn's ball inside found morris who got his second of the night A really good game by both these players Morris getting his second what a game for Tivoli Gardens
as we take a look at the full-time statistics here, Tivoli Gardens, they had 10 shots, seven of which were on target. They were pretty accurate, weren't they? Humbline didn't have a, a shot on target. They committed 16 fouls, though, three more than uh, Tivoli Gardens. They also had the majority of the yellow cards in this one and the majority of the corner kicks as well. And Tivoli Gardens with most of the possession at 53%. I'm here with Justin Dunn, man of the match for the game today, and this must be a common feeling for you now, second straight man of the match. How are you feeling about, about the game? Well, I'm very elated about my performance. I've been putting in the work from pre-season. I know it, it's pain now. I saw you get a little bit emotional after the second goal this evening. What, what was that about? Because for this season, the main objective is to get a contract overseas and the performances are coming in, and I am loving that for myself. Yeah, they're definitely coming in, not only goal scoring, but you're looking really good creatively as well. Is that something about your game that you've been wanting to no, show off the season? We've been doing it in training, the small passes and playing out from the back. And as we displayed tonight, it was a well, well team performance. With, um, yes, yes. Excellent performance tonight. Another two goals and best of luck for the rest of the season. Thank you.